creating a rectangular spline. So we can create a rectangular spline by going up to the Create tab. We're going to go to our Shapes, to our Splines drop-down menu. Then we're going to go to the Rectangle button, and I'm going to pick in the top viewport, and I'm going to hold the mouse button down, and I'm going to pick on the other side. So I pick and I hold it down, and I get a rectangle. So I pick and hold it down, get a rectangle. And so pick and hold it down, rectangle. Now, if I hold the control key down, so I pick and I'm holding my control key down, I get a square. And I let go and I get a square. I'll do that again. I'll hold my control key down and I get a square I'm doing it that method. Another method I can do is if I come over here into my rollout, you can see that I have my creation method. I have the edge method, which is picking those two corners. If I choose the center option, I can pick, and now I just pick the center. Now I'm picking the corner. So when I here, I'll pick right here on the center of the here, and I come out and I'm picking the corner method. So in that case, it's basically a square, right? Uh, now we do have another method here in which we can come down to our keyboard entry. In our keyboard entry, we can say where we want the corner to be. And I'll say I'll have it at 0, 0. Well, let's do this. Let's go up in, um, don't save, and I'm going to get all new, get a new line here. And I'm going to go with a new rectangle command. And down in the keyboard entry, I'm going to start with 0, 0, 0. And I'm going to say I want the length of this thing to be 20 feet. And I want the width of it to be, say, 10 feet. And I want corner radiuses of, let's say, uh, two feet. And I say create. And boom, instantly I can create that rectangle of this, with these particular keyboard parameters. So, um, and so in this case, my parameters are 20 feet by 10 feet. It picked that up from here. So another way of doing it is by the keyboard telling it exactly where you want to go. Uh, and I did the center method here. So now I'm going to switch it over to the edge method. And I'm going to say I'm going to start it at, uh, and again I'll start it at 0, 0, 0. And I'll do this one a little bit, maybe uh, let's go with a little bit bigger, make it a little different here. Let's go with 30. And I'm going to go with a more rounded, let's go with 4 foot. And so now I'm going to say create, and it created another one here uh, in this case. So another method of doing it is by the keyboard entry. So the rectangular spline is found in the command panel. We go to create, we go to shapes, we go to splines drop down menu, and we end up, oh, and I'll finish the command here, and we end up going to rectangle here. And uh, in the rectangle, we end up making various rectangles with the splines.